Welcome to Dreger's new clubhouse in Burlington, Washington. We'd like to show you this 1969 Cougar. It's a great little car, and I think you'll enjoy watching the video. We're going to walk around this 69 Mercury Cougar. It's got a built 390 that's freshly built. The person that we bought it from, him and his friend, assembled the engine. It was a friend of his that was in Spokane that was an engine builder. Two of them put it together. It's got less than a thousand miles on this motor. He did all the uh, mechanical underneath too. He put four-wheel disc brakes on this car. And Joe at Old School Garage actually updated the front brakes to make it stop a little bit better. He put a bigger uh, Willwood uh, brake kit on it. It's got the uh, Cougar Eliminator look to it, but it's uh, it's a plain Mercury Cougar. It's a nice car. I mean, the doors shut nice and easy. The windows crank up and down nice and easy. I mean, no effort at all. Smooth. Interior's in great shape. We had to uh, pull the driver's seat out and have it. Uh, there was one seam on the far side, you know, from getting in and out of it over the years that had come apart. So we had that stitched up and it's all in great shape. I mean, the dash is real nice. Carpet's in great shape. Seats are all intact. I mean, nothing torn or anything. You can see how nice the door jams are. Doors shut nice and easy. You can see how straight, if you look down the side of this car, it's a very straight car. And again, it's got four wheel disc brakes, so you got got nice brakes in the back end. This car uh, has got a lot of LED lighting in it. These reverse lights are LEDs. I, don't, I can't remember if the uh, brake lights are, but these backup lights are nice and bright. We also pulled the front and rear bumper on this car. They weren't in bad shape. They were just kind of dull looking, so we had them replated. We can show you the, the trunk in this car. Opens nice and easy. Got a new mat in here. It's also got sound deadening all over the place. I mean, this is a this is a loud car. It's got a lot of horsepower and loud mufflers, so all this deadening helps. Every time this car goes by the side of the building, all the stuff on the wall shakes. It's a, it's a rumbly car. So they did a nice job putting it together with all the sound deadening and how solid it is. I mean, it doesn't have any shakes and rattles in it. It's just a tight car. Trunk shuts easy. All the paint on the deck lid and down the side, it's all its all nice. Uh, we replaced these hockey puck uh, pieces on both sides. They were really pitted, so we replaced those. Um, we haven't had to do a whole lot to this car. Uh, Joe, again, at Old School Garage, he, uh, he went through this motor a little bit and, and he put new rocker cover gaskets on it because, you know, when it's a new motor, you need to you need to do some tweaking on it when they get some miles on them they get broken in and and just things need to be checked over and joe went through everything so it's got a grant wood steering wheel it's got a tachometer there so you can see how fast you're running this 390 engine so nice interior nice car very solid we haven't found anything in the way of rust in this body anywhere You got a data tag down here. I don't know if you can see that real well. It's not real sharp, but anyway, the VIN tag's up in the front windshield, I believe. That door shuts nice and easy. And there's a there's a VIN tag right here, right in the front windshield. Let's see if I can get this hood open real quick before you get here if I remember where the release is there's that fresh 390 nice aluminum radiator you would have seen all the courtesy lamps on the inside if I would have had the battery on but now it's on anyway nice running engine it's got lots of horsepower I probably maybe put 100 miles on it. I don't know how many miles my dad's put on it, but between the two of us, I'm sure we've got a couple hundred miles. The other thing that uh, 
the previous owner did was he uh, put an electric motor on, on these headlamps so they open together and every time so they're not vacuum operated anymore so that was a nice addition but anyway it's a fun car to drive we'll see if we can get another video of it running and going down the road here in a little bit okay we're going to start this 390 up show you the lights and the turn signals and the horn and the wipers hoist was tied up so we couldn't get this thing up on the hoist so we could take underside videos but you can see it's clean underneath it's got a lot of neat stuff like the drag links on there and it, it just well built those things right there is what I was talking about anyway I think you'll find it's a really well built car and it'll work good for you we're about to head up on the freeway and have some fun in this 390 Cougar runs really well we'll see how fast it is here I'm not going to step on it too hard. I don't want to scare Jana back there filming. Here we go. Oh, the Subaru thinks he's fast behind us. I got nowhere to go, but he's right on me. <laughs> anyway, this car is a lot of fun to drive. I mean, it's there he goes. I wasn't fast enough for him. Catch up to him real quick if we wanted to. A lot of traffic and I don't want to get in an accident. Anyway, it's a blast to drive. It's got lots of horsepower and it's, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a tight car. You can see it's not rattling and shaking all over the place. It's just, just a muscle car. that is but it feels like we're going pretty fast stiff suspension and I feel like I could step on it and he's got good rubber on these tires I wouldn't slide at all Hope you enjoyed this short video of this 1969 Cougar. It's a great little car. It runs and drives great and it's fresh and you'll enjoy it. Drager's Clubhouse in Burlington, Washington. We'd love to have you come by and see it.